today is finally the day where we learn Python. I've been putting this off for about six years now, mostly because I've never really had a practical reason to learn. But something really embarrassing happened to me a few months ago. When I was filming the video giving away money to strangers for solving coding problems, I had someone who wanted to solve the problem that I was going to give them in Python. I told them to go for it, thinking that I would still be able to read through their code, but I got lost, and I actually had to rely on my cameraman, Nick, to explain the problem to me. Now, this took such a huge hit on my fragile program ego, I told myself I would never let this happen again. So to make sure that, today we're officially diving in to Python. Now, the title says seven days, but the reality is I'll only be able to scratch the surface in that time frame. You can't really become good at anything in seven days in this coding realm, as there are no shortcuts when learning how to code. But the goal here is to see exactly how much I can learn in seven days. This video more or less is going to demonstrate my process of learning a new programming language. I'm gonna take you step by step, day by day of my process when it comes to learning a new programming language. And hopefully you will be able to find something useful from this vid that you can apply to your own learning process. Each day is pretty much gonna be a different step where I tackle something new. And if you're brand new to coding, each step will probably take you way longer than a day. But just remember, there's no rush when learning how to code. So anyways, let's see how far I can get in these next seven days. Let's start learning Python. The first step of learning a new programming language, well, you gotta be able to run the code on your machine. So I downloaded Python, picked PyCharm as my code editor, ran my first Hello World program, and then I got to learning the basics. All right, so day one was a success. I learned about variables, strings, arrays, classes, functions, blah, blah, blah. You know, the common things that every programming language has. I actually watched a Mosh tutorial on 2x speed and kind of slightly followed along with that. Once you learn the basics of programming, these concepts pretty much transfer over to every other language. It's just a matter of understanding the syntax. Now the goal for day two is to really nail this syntax down into my brain, focusing on some Python specific coding problems. And depending on how much I want to torture myself, I may even dive into some elite code using Python, but we'll see where the day takes us. I spent a few hours doing some Python coding challenges on this website, and I decided to skip the elite code problems. All right, so today is Saturday, which means I have the whole day to dedicate to learning Python. And as you can tell, I'm pretty excited. So again, yesterday was working on some Python specific coding questions to really nail down that syntax. And to be honest, uh, the Python syntax is super easy to pick up on, especially if you're familiar with programming, the syntax is very readable and very uh, English-like, which is why I think Python is such a popular language. So anyways, this is where I wanna say my day one and day two may be your month one or month two, especially if this is your very first time learning a programming language. Again, think of each day in this learning process as a new step. Now for day three, the next step in this learning process, I'm actually going to be building something with Python. But before we do that first, I gotta give a huge shout out to my friends over at privacy.com for sponsoring this video. Privacy is a free service that allows you to buy things online without having to use your real credit or debit card information. Each time you make a purchase online, you're putting your real card information and bank details at risk across the internet. But with privacy, you can keep this delicate information secure by creating a virtual card. So you never have to worry about giving your real information to people you don't know online. Now, have you ever wanted to sign up for a free trial but didn't want to put your real card information in because you were scared that you would forget get to cancel it later down the road and be charged? I know I have. But with privacy, you can generate a one-time card number, sign up for that trial, and cancel it as soon as the transaction has gone through. So to get started with privacy, head on over to privacy.com slash Kenny, create an account, link your virtual card to your checking account or debit card, add a limit to that card, download the web extension for Google Chrome, 
and make your purchase using that extension and it's as easy as that. So as the holiday season approaches and you start browsing for new programming gear for yourself or your friends, make sure you keep privacy in mind and use my link privacy.com slash Kenny for a free $5 when you sign up. Privacy is an awesome service. I really appreciate them for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to learning Python. So yeah, I'm actually going to be building something with Python today. It's not gonna be my own unique project idea, but I'm gonna be uh, following a tutorial. This next step in the learning process is the imitation phase where we follow along with tutorials and we learn from people more experienced than us. A turtle racer, my very first Python program I've ever written. Thanks, Tech with Tim. But enough of this child's play. It was time to get down to actual business. All right, so I didn't actually have all day to spend learning uh, Python yesterday because I did have to do a four hour road trip outside of the city, which is why I am outside. Not my regular place for filming videos, but uh, actually the lighting conditions are pretty spot on. Even though I didn't have all day to spend learning Python, I did do what I said I was going to do. I dived into a tutorial and I learned a little bit from that. But today, day four, it is time to put my big boy pants on. Oftentimes when learning a new programming language, just learning that language isn't enough to get you a job. You're going to have to learn multiple languages uh, with it or a framework with it. In the case with Python, there are multiple roads you can go down in terms of career paths. You can get into AI, you can get into machine learning, or you could even get into web development. I think for me, it is more practical to use Python for web development as that kind of already aligns with my current uh, career trajectory. So because of that, today I'm going to dive into a popular framework known as Django or Django, I don't know if the D silent, which yeah, is a popular framework for developing uh, web applications using Python. So that's what we're going to spend our time on today is diving into that framework. And once I kind of get familiar with this framework, I'm going to start working on my own real personal projects, which is ultimately the end goal when learning a new uh, programming language. So the seven day Python learning experience is finally over. I decided to stop giving daily updates because I got lazy, so let me quickly fill you in. Day four, I learned uh, De Django. I actually learned it was called Django. <laughs> I dived into Django and I followed a tutorial and made a cute little uh, media player. But I realized I was spending way too much time tweaking the CSS and HTL templates in Django for this media player. It was distracting me from my ultimate goal, which was to learn as much as I could about Python in these seven days. Now for the fifth and final step of learning a new programming language, it is to put all that knowledge together that you've gotten through tutorials and coding challenges and to build your own project. So that's what I did day five through seven. I worked on my own personal projects with Python. Now I want to get the full Python experience. Whenever you hear Python, you often think of AI and automation. So I decided to uh, build a bot. Now this bot will automate applying to jobs for me. Now the bot is about 200 lines of code, which I'm not gonna go over uh, and bore you with that code in this video. If you wanna check that out, link in the description. It's on my GitHub. Basically this bot will scrape the LinkedIn for job postings. And after I provide it with some input, it will apply to those jobs for me. Let me show you. So this bot uses a library called Selenium, which will allow me to interact with the web pages as well scrape data from those web pages. So once I launch the bot, it will take me to my LinkedIn account. It will navigate to the jobs page. It will then prompt me with what jobs I want to search for. Let's say Android developer. And then one by one, it will scrape each posting. Tell me the position of the posting, the company and the location. It will then ask me if I'm interested in the job. If I say yes, it will provide me with the details of the job and then ask me if I want to apply. If I say yes again, it will navigate me through the job application form have me fill out any necessary questions. And once that is done, it will submit the application and move on to the next job posting. In this case, the bot requires a lot of input from the user, but it wouldn't be hard to automate most, if not all of that input. Pretty useless? Sure, but that's programming, baby. Us programmers solve problems that don't actually exist. So that marks the end of my seven day journey learning Python. Again, I still don't know about Python or Django, but this uh, definitely set the foundation for my Python ability. 
you could say. Because this video was a hands-on, step-by-step process of me learning a new programming language, let me quickly go over all the steps that I followed. Number one, getting familiar with the basic syntax. Number two, coding challenges to get even more familiar with the syntax. Number three, following along with coding tutorials. Number four, researching the frameworks or additional tools you need to learn to get a job, Django in my case. And number five, building my own project. Anyways, folks, that is going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them uh, below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.